Okay, right now I'm going to talk about the connections on the back of your computer. I'm going to hook this one up and kind of explain it as I go along. Down here you'll see the this type of plug. It's a three and a half millimeter plug. It's the same type that goes in all three of these. Only this one is for the microphone. This one is for a MIDI device or any other device you want to plug in to run through your sound card. And this is your speaker connection. You'll notice they're color-coded. Real easy to see which one goes where. This one here, this is your game port. This is for a game controller or a joystick, which is what I'm plugging in now. This here, this is your video monitor connection. It's what you hook your monitor up to. Always make sure your pins are nice and straight and none of them's bent. Make sure the plug goes in easily. And then I like to always screw at least one screw to make sure it, <clears throat> it uh, holds securely. You can't pull it out. This port, this is a, uh, a printer port or a parallel port. It's what the old style printers used to uh, plug into. That's this type of cable right here. Of course, this end is would be the end that plugs into it. And this would plug into your old style printer. Most printers now come with a USB connection. So, that's not the one I'm going to be using. I'm, mine has the USB connection. This port here, this is a serial port. That's what a mouse used to plug into. They don't use it very much now, but they still put it on some computers. This port here, this is your network plug-in for the network cable. Looks just like a like a phone cable, only bigger. Plugs in just like one too. So <clears throat> Over here, these are your USB ports. That's This is a printer cable. This plugs into the printer. This plugs into the USB port. Seems like about everything's going USB nowadays. That plugs in real easily there. Here, and if it doesn't plug in easily, it's very easy to get this turned around. See, it won't plug in wrong. So you're okay there. This here, these are your PS2 ports. One's for the mouse, one's for the keyboard. Normally, they're color-coded like this, but if not, and you get them plugged into the wrong hole, no big deal, they just won't work. You just pull them back out and switch them, and you should be okay. And plug in the keyboard. This is the keyboard here. This is the mouse here. It's a pretty standard configuration. And this here, last but not least, is your power cord. Don't have to have it to get the computer to run. So, get that all going. and Now we're all hooked up and ready to roll.